Today I'm going to do a brief video tutorial on um, soldering um, just to give you an idea of what we're doing here for uh, what we have. It's the Adafruit 16 channel uh, servo driver <clears throat> and this is a, a separate board that's uh, not a microcontroller but it controls servos and the reason we um, have a separate servo board is um, it separates um, the servos from the main controller so if there's any kind of voltage overload it'll happen on this board and we would possibly overheat or uh, damage this board instead of our main controller computer board so what I'm gonna do is solder these um, servo headers there's uh, 16 rows of three or yeah 16 rows by three they're just separated out into uh, batches of four. We're only going to need to use three channels for this plot clock project, but um, we'll, so we'll solder them all on for future use. Then this header can will be soldered on to either the left or right side of the uh, board. That's just a matter of preference. And then there's also this power connector that will get soldered in over here. And um, that will allow me to run some regular copper wire to this power adapter. And this power adapter it has the 2.1 millimeter barrel that will fit with our power supply, which is located here. Now for soldering, <clears throat> if you've never soldered before, um, this size project is uh, somewhat sensitive to heat, so you don't want to use a really high-powered soldering iron. This is um, a Weller. It's a low-powered uh, pencil tip type of soldering iron, and it's only uh, 12 watts. So uh, this is the right tool for the job. Um, also want to use the right kind of solder or rosin core solder is normally what you use for electronics and the diameter is specified so they make different diameters in this case it's 0 0.32 inches so uh, converting to metric it's about 0 0.81 millimeter diameter solder and um, that's what we'll use. I'll get this soldered up and then I'll take a quick video once I'm done and uh, show you the finished product.